What's up everyone, Danny AR10 here, and have a quick unboxing for you guys. This will be real quick. Uh, this is going to be the two new games that I told you guys about yesterday that I was going to pick up. I didn't pick them up at midnight, I picked them up uh, this morning after I got out of work. But they are uh, Mass Effect 2, there you go. and Mag for the PS3. Uh, when I pre-ordered uh, Mag and Mass Effect, you get uh, pre-order bonuses. So for Mag, I got an exclusive in-game character for the SVER Sver. I guess they're one of the uh, the uh, armies you can play as. Excuse me, in the game. So uh, and for Mass Effect 2, I have to go back and get my pre-order bonus, which is a exclusive armor and a special gun you get. Uh, the douchebags there didn't have it. Uh, you're supposed to be able to pick it up when you pre uh, when you pick up your copy after you pre-order but for some reason the dumbass there didn't want to give it to me he said they didn't have it and yeah, that you need to do it online and I don't know so I just go back to the store and talk to someone talk to someone that knows what they're doing There's a bunch of dumbasses working there uh, I never actually started working there so guys who did follow my video I got a job there and then I was supposed to start I never really did uh, but I still got discount for a couple months so whatever uh, aside from that I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them real quick for you guys just so you can see and I come with basic you know manual and all that stuff but I'm probably gonna play mag first just cuz I could jump right into it mass effect is more of a you know I'm gonna sit down and play it in sessions cuz it is a long game and I don't want to just sit down right now and start playing that I'll probably play it after a little bit of a little bit of time playing mag uh, there hasn't been any reviews yet for Mag, which is kind of weird. Usually, a big third-party, a uh, big first-party game like Mag would have reviews out uh, prior to release. I mean, Mag, uh, Mass Effect Two review has been out since Friday of last week. So, you guys know, it got a 9.6 IGN. I think Gamespot just reviewed it today, and they gave it a nine. So, definitely pick it up if you played the first one. And even if you haven't played the first one, I think it's still definitely worth it. Uh. There you go. Uh, this is the back of the box for Mag. So you guys can kind of read the content that it has. If you can make it out. I'm not sure you can, but just to get an idea. Uh, 256 players online, which is insane. Uh, so it's 128 on 128. You can personalize your character. You get rewards. Oh, man. it's. I mean, it also has you know, supports headset, the DualShock 3, 720p. That's, that's upsetting. I wish it was 1080p. To take advantage of my new TV. Uh, open it up. There's the disc. Nice and colorful. There's the manual. Not too thick. That's what she said. Um, and the box art. So, very basic. Nice little design. It's made by Zipper Interactive, guys. These are the people who made uh, the SOCOM series famous before they failed on the PS3. Um, what else? We got Mass Effect 2 now. Here we go. I'm not going to explain. It does support 1080p, which is going to be sick because it's going to look nice on my new TV. It's content download. There's supposed to be already a content pack out with a bunch of stuff on release day today. And it's free. All of it's free. And next week they have more content. And the week after that. They have already planned three straight weeks of content. And the first batch being free. And it's not cheap stuff. It's armor. New characters. Uh, new weapons. So that's pretty sick. Um, most, you know. I, haven't, I don't remember the last decent company or big game like this. That has given away free content. And all the big games like Mass Effect. I mean, uh, Call of Duty and... Halo and they don't give away crap for free. They try to rip people off. I say you make more money off the games. If you get people to buy the games because all the extra content they gotta get for free after that, I believe you'll sell more games in the long run by promising people free stuff that'll keep the game fresh versus charging fifty nine ninety nine for the game and then telling people it's gonna be content but then charging whatever 800 Microsoft points or whatever it costs for the content which is the equivalent of what 10 15 bucks 
every time you want to buy content it's kind of it's kind of sad that's why I don't I don't buy a lot of the content that gets released I buy the map packs for a lot of my favorite games but aside from that and I only buy them because my friends play them and if I don't have the maps I get booted out of the games so uh, went ahead and opened it up there's the back for you guys just a quick look those who want to see it it's the front there's the box art nothing new it is rated mature so okay that's right I forgot that this is a two disc game I'll explain that in a little bit there's the inside disc one this two uh, Cerebris Network okay this is supposed to be a streamlined way of getting content you guys saw that card it basically lets you receive the included bonus content uh, that I told you guys was available on day one you can access new weapons it's basically like a streamlined network of getting all the downloadable content that can be releasing in the future kind of like a built into the game engine sort of like the rock band store that's what I'm thinking uh, so that's pretty cool I'm gonna activate that when I play it later uh, advertisement for army of two too many good games in the next couple months to pick that up any other month I would have probably picked it up but too many good games coming out uh, and here is the structure manual and this is a it's a big, big manual. It's pretty thick. <laughs> That's what she said again. Uh, about 27 pages. Eh, whatever. Uh, that's about it, guys. The disc one, disc two. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was reading online that at first, mass, uh, the creators, Bioware, had said that you were only going to have to do one disc swap throughout the whole game. To kind of keep it streamlined they didn't want people having to switch back and forth between the discs but the review came out and supposedly now they're saying that there's more than one disc swap you have to swap to disc two in the game once and towards the end of the, of the game you need to swap again back to disc one so whatever it's not a big deal it doesn't take that long to swap a disc but there's gonna be your fair share of people who are gonna bitch and complain about it and whatever don't buy the game pass up on a great game possibly the game of the year nomination just because you have to swap discs. Uh, and that's about it, guys. I'm going to be playing it. I'm probably going to shoot right now a video for Mag. Just kind of like a first gameplay capture. I'm going to probably shoot it on my high def camcorder and upload it. Or I may not. I don't know. It depends how, how I feel. Uh, I may do it just because I know people have been wanting to see the gameplay footage who weren't in the beta. Uh, so I'll go ahead and you know, try to get that for you guys. Uh, just comment in there. Leave some comments if you guys want to see it. I want to see how many of my viewers want to really see it. There's not many PS3 owners, and the ones who do, you know, the chance of them being on my on my page and wanting to see it are probably very slim. So thanks again, guys, for sticking with me. I uh, will post impressions and reviews soon on these two games. Uh, so just continue to stick with me. Subscribe, Danny Ar10 on the Twitter. Take care, guys.